right, guys, here I am at the Pimax booth. I'm here with Dimitar, and he's going to tell us all about the SimFab collaboration that Pimax is doing in the booth today. So, Dimitar, tell me a little bit about the SimFabs that we see behind us. All right, SimFab is a U.S.-based company. We're based off of Boynton Beach, Florida. We also have another warehouse in Las Vegas, Nevada, in town here. Uh, we make modular uh, racing and flight simulation cockpits. Okay. The key word here is modular, modularity. Okay. Uh, this is our specialty. Uh, it's not about an individual standalone cockpit, but also an ecosystem of um, a framework that is uh, compatible with every legitimate and recognized control maker on the market. Okay. And it's we also offer easy transition from one type of uh, race. I mean, sim racing or flight sim. So what we brought here is three cockpits. Uh, they're interchangeable. Okay. Uh, we're showcasing a collaboration between several brands. Pimax is the host. Uh, we're uh, SimFab, and then we also uh, future uh, Verpil uh, flight sim controls. Okay. Uh, one cockpit we have behind me is a space sim. Then we have a combat sim on a DCS, and then we have the sim racing right here. Okay. So how long has the company been doing this? We've been around since 2010, I would say. So okay. that's so, what, 13, so 14 years going. So you're kind of the VR you, thing, so. We've been around, uh, yeah, quite a, quite a while, so. Okay, and I noticed, you know, you have some interesting simulators here as well. This so. is actually our other partner here. Uh, this is a conspit, but this is super cool. This is a specific for F1 uh, style uh, sim racing. I, saw, I was going to say, I, I got a chance to sit one earlier yeah. and it was interesting how you actually sat in the rig. So yeah. really kind of amped up that immersion in VR, like the feeling that you were actually in the car. Right, so. right, yeah. Okay, so what what is like, if, if one of my viewers wanted one of these uh, modular rigs, what's that going to start at? Okay, so we offer several packages that are essential base uh, cockpits that offer the essentials. Okay. Uh, whether that's a sim racing or flight sim, the average starting cost is about 500 to 550 dollars. And that's really affordable. That's yeah. really good. And so. then you know you can scale up. You can just try the basics if that's what you're looking for. If you're not sure, if you're not certain uh, how far you want to take it, uh, but you can scale up and you can also convert between different types of flight simulation, whether that's a, a general aviation or a, a combat simulation or space sim. Okay. And you can also easily convert to sim racing. Awesome. Yeah. Well guys, I tell you, these are probably some of the coolest modular simulators that I've seen here on the show floor at CES. All right guys, so I finally got my turn in the simulator. I have been waiting all day for this. Let me tell you, these are incredible rigs that SimFab has collaborated with Pimax to show off at CES 2024. So I'm here with Josh from SimFab. He's going to kind of guide me through my demo here. I'm going to be playing one of my favorite games, Star Wars Squadrons. Now you guys know, you've seen it on my channel before. This is one that I normally play in my motion rig, but I have never played it in something as elaborate and cool as this simulator. So, all right. I'm ready to fly an X-Wing. Okay, awesome. All right, sweet. Well, while the game's loading up, we can go ahead and put these goggles on. All right. We'll go ahead and just gently put over your glasses. We've got a knob in the back to go ahead and tighten to your All comfort. Right. I think so, I know that. I'm, I am I a know. professional. Don't I attempt this at home. Yeah, no. <laughs> so, so, and you got the, uh, I think it's got the headset position adjustment notification, so you got places where it says it's okay. No, I don't actually yeah. have okay, that. Okay, so great. Then that actually went in and we already passed it, so we're and good. And we'll get my IPD set here. Excellent. All right. So, okay. So... Tell me a little bit about the simulator setup as we're waiting for the loading. Uh, yeah, sure. So, we, so right now, you're, uh, you said we're, uh, you alluded to, like we got part here. I'm with SimFab, and so SimFab we make the cockpit, and then we were here on partnered with Pimax to go ahead and uh, to kind of demonstrate some of the use cases, just like like a wow factor, what you, what's possible to achieve with the Pimax headset, like some of the use cases for buying like a nice VR headset like this. It'd generally be like a prosumer enthusiast type level person when you're going to like a cockpit. You know, if you're spending twelve hundred, thirteen hundred dollars on your headset, you know, and you got these other kinds of setups. Um, and uh, so it's kind of like a whole just nice way to demonstrate the possibilities with the headset and the uh, SimFab and then also Verpal, which is the controls. So like talk about these are like incredibly. You know, they really are. I mean, this this is a super pro setup, my friend. Yeah, no, it is. I love this setup. I, and uh, actually, I said I was particularly interested in getting a host set. So this is a host SaaS setup. That's one thing. That's host SaaS. Kind of, host SaaS. Okay. So normally there's like HOTAS is the normally hands on hands on throttle and stick. Okay. So normally you have a throttle in your left hand. Okay. Like a throttle controller, which we do have one over there. Right. I kind of feel that yeah. behind me. So okay. Particularly with space games.
games. Uh, because it's uh, for like a six off, like a six degrees of freedom, where you can actually go backwards in your aircraft. Okay. Um, which actually you can't really do in this one, um, but in like Star Citizen, Elite Dangerous. Exactly. Um, Elite is one of my favorites. Yeah, same here. Exa so. oh, right there with you. So that I love this for I love host ass for Elite. And okay. so the idea is that the left one is, is it's a throttle and a stick combo. Oh, okay. So okay. And host ass is hands on stick on stick. A hands on stick on stick. Yeah, okay. Exactly, yeah. oh, I love it. Yeah. And so the idea is that you're, if your hand on your left hand right now for for host ass, the, obviously people do different setups, but generally speaking, the left hand is it neutral. When it's in the middle, you're going nowhere. Okay. But if you push it forward, that's that's the throttle forward, and okay. backwards is the throttle backwards. Okay. And then actually, even left would be left, and right would be right, because it's a, it's a, generally it's a six off type thing. Gotcha. So it'd be like almost like strafing, and then the right stick is more the traditional controls, where like you got pitch up and down and okay. roll and things like that on the right. Gotcha. Um, gotcha. So obviously there's different combinations of setups, but that's kind of right. like the idea here is just showing up like the possibilities with it. And again, we partnered with Verbal, so Verbal can provide the controls because um, they're they're pretty they're definitely some very, Fantastic. very nice things. So. Um, and, uh, let's see. And so we got Star Wars Rogue Squadrons, like you said, which, and um, it puts you into a match here. All right, fantastic. Yeah. Did you have a? Pre I mean, I, in your case, uh, do you want preference? You want me to change you? Uh, uh, I'd, I'd like to fly the X-wing if possible. Okay, yeah, I, I find that the, the view in the Tie Fighter is just a little so limited with Same. that. That's you know, good. and that's and that's why they always lose, right? They can't see outside. I know. Yeah, so. yeah, it's great. yeah. So yeah, and that's so that's our default thing. That's why I got, that's what I figured I've been All recommending right. everybody's that. So here we go, here we go. We're loading, yeah, we're, we're loading. loading. So now I've noticed that we've got a lot of different configurations here. So I'm assuming this is a modular simulator. Uh, yes. Yeah. No. I, actually, that's no great observation. So that's one of the Simpabs like uniqueness, uh, unique points is that so you can get a lot of fixed like structure simulators like like the F1 ones that are over there. They're, that is all it's ever going to do is F1, and it's great at it. But in this case, for the Simpab, it's it's very it is all modular. All these setups that we have. So we have a racing one over there. We have the combat simulator here. This is a space one. You buy the base kit, and then you can, can you can change it into the any of the other ones with a couple add-on kits. Okay, and what do you get with the base kit? Uh, well, actually, we have a few different base. It depends. We have a few different base kits. You base kit for like a basic race sim racing or a flight sim, or we also have hybrid. Oh. And that kind of so out of the and out of the box. So like the hybrid one, for example, in this case, the hybrid one uh, would let you do uh, 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 dual joysticks. Um, for like a like we call it like for combat or space simulation okay. that's kind of the idea of that so you can at least out of the box do like what your intended purpose is but you can also just buy it all at once too like in like your um but yeah, oh so now you're man flying around in a, this is incredible yeah absolutely incredible now as much as I get, I gotta say, I love this game. I've not played it in my Pimax Crystal yet. And okay, so that's the first time. This is nuts how crystal, no pun intended, clear this game is. And sitting in this seat is really, really amping up that immersion factor. So. All right, so it looks like we've got our sway on the feet here. Yeah, and actually, you do have the pedals as well for the, those do your yaw, so you can okay. kind of like straight left, straight right if you want to use So one thing that's really messing me up is I usually put roll on the stick here. So yeah. what is my, what, okay, roll oh, is, sorry. yeah, there you go. Yeah, no, I know, yeah, that's the thing. I know they got those little differences, so I, especially since you're familiar with it, you know, familiar with it. It's like, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm still to... using the old X52. Yeah, no, and that's, that, that's a staple. That's a staple, so, so. which we support that out of the box, by the do way. Do you really? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I was going to yeah. ask Everything. if you did have the support for older hotels systems yeah oh yeah no absolutely all the, every old and new it doesn't matter all of them. I mean purple thrustmaster turtle beach uh, you know say tech logitech okay uh, you know uh, I think anybody else but, um, uh, but uh, honeycomb uh, you know whatever redbird real sim gear um, we, we support all their stuff nice nice so. so what is a base model start at uh, it starts at 450 and 450 goes up, no, yeah, 40, very affordable actually for something of this quality yeah 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 and, and actually, and we've been around since 2010, and we are we do our design, uh, engineering and design, um, and manufacturing in uh, in Florida. Okay, so these are American made. Yep. Very good. So, all right, and I'm assuming these are shipping now. Uh, oh yeah, they, yep, they are shipping now. Exactly. Yeah, and actually, we do sell directly through our website, uh, simfab.com. But then also we do sell on. We do have some of our products section on Amazon. Um, but either whether you order Amazon or not, we, you'll get it within like two or three days, pretty much across the whole U.S. Okay. We do do international shipping, but it's uh, case by case. We you just got to message us right now. We're still working on it. We're okay. trying to open a European warehouse. Awesome. Uh, that okay. should be opening probably in the next couple months. I think we're going, we'll be able to actually start shipping from there. Uh, but otherwise, we have warehouse in Vegas and in Florida. In Vegas and Florida. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. So. Well, man, I got to tell you guys, this is next level stuff. So. 
I'm gonna, you know, when this posts out as a video, I am gonna throw links for everything that you need to learn more about or grab a set from SimFab for yourself. Because if you're not flying this way, you're not flying. So for me, that is gonna do it today. Thank you so much for watching this short video and I will see you all in the next one. This is Don, signing off.